Welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Somehow that gate brought us straight into the house of Crazy Clockwise. A watchmaker who, uh... Well, yeah. Hector wants me to reacquire the final missing automaton piece, the heart, from a gentleman called Clockwise. He says the man has succumbed to madness, so who knows what to expect. That's odd. All I have to do is lift all the loot. That's not good. I don't know what it means, but it's not good. Hector's letter to Clockwise. Oh. Oh yeah, I found this eight million years ago. Oh, that's literally his name. Luther Clockwise. I thought it was like an eccentric, you know, watchmaker thing. Ahem. <clears throat> Hector's letter to Clockwise. Stop ignoring my letters! I know you're locked up in your house! I know you have the metal man's heart! And I know the engineer has been feeding you lies! You're better than this, Clockwise! We can still build the metal man! Together! Reply soon, or I'll be forced to take the heart by force! That's a promise, Hector! Remove this sharp object from the environment. The heart, I presume. No, no, that's a, uh... Thing. Well, why are there gears everywhere? Oh, that's just a gear lying on the ground. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, it slides along and crazy shit happens. I found some concept art for this game. At one point, they were considering bringing back the concept of three different, uh... Or at least different kinds of, uh... Lock picks. Seating with caution. I don't like the use of the ominous music. I don't. Good find. Last one, too. The Burnished Lady. For shining hair of perfectly straight aspect, heat irons the f in the fire. Oh, heat irons in the fire until scalding, then apply. Damn. Maybe it's for the best that I keep with those. Those instructions will be forgotten. Project Pendulum, Day 1. A weird symbol, and then, Baron Northcrest withdrew funding from our automaton project, right when we were on the verge of a breakthrough. In the end, my salary was just enough to pay for Jasper's funeral. He deserved better. The house feels empty now. Fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to use the mouse wheel to scroll. The house feels empty now, but without proper funding, I must learn to work within these constraints. At least I'll be fully immersed in my next project. I should write the engineer, but work in the symbols in the basement. I always find clarity after our talks. Well, that's not good.
Don't like this. Meant that one, but thanks anyway. Engineer's letter to Clockwise. Dear Clockwise, it's been too long, my friend. I regret having to end our partnership so abruptly. The Baron didn't exactly grant me time to say my goodbyes. Perhaps we can renew the automaton research, on our terms this time. Please take some time to think about it. In the meantime, look over the treatises I've sent to your home. Consider them a gift from one artisan to another. I'll contact you soon to hear your answer. Engineer. Who the fuck is the Engineer? How could he possibly just be known just by that name? And my father is an engineer. I don't see him using a the. This is the ominous music it used in the fucking asylum. I hate this. I don't like any of this. Or is the best that isn't there? I thought I got that one already. really don't like about this is the fact that the guy sealed himself inside. Oh, hell no. What will go for that last? Aquas's diary. Symbols, patterns, they're in the sub basement, carved on an old stonework, relics of the past, another time. Who left them? What do they mean? Words of warning? Instructions? I must decipher these symbols. Put order to chaos. They're the movement powering this grand complication. Project Pendulum, Day 11. My eyes see one wall before me. My mind fills in the rest. Constructing the room around me, the floor beneath my feet, giving shape to the shadows. Building reality, a comforting womb, a coffin. Our minds are deceiving us, Jasper. There are unexplored spaces all around us, everywhere. I must train my mind to see them. The symbols may be the key. Okay, so trying to understand these symbols made him crazy. Got some fucking Lovecraft shit going on here, and I don't approve. There's another collectible in here somewhere.
I'll wait for a bit later to do that. Like if I found the guy and knocked him out. Or, you know, found his suicided corpse or whatever. And here's a save in case I get uh, chased out of the house by angry ghosts or something. You know, I have to outrun a fire or what have you. Oh, I hate this. Is he going to be a freak? Is that what it is? Hell, it's a scripted thing. Is that it? I have to come out of the basement and... Fine. No. Okay. see anything at all down here that it can interact with. If I knock politely. No, I'm just confused. Only thing I haven't done is activate the obvious uh, button underneath the uh, the Baron's bust. What did that accomplish? Oh. Treatise on the Voclid Spatial Theory. Several years ago, the renowned Voclid tests took place. Ten subjects with abnormal spatial brain function, whatever that means, were interred at the Moira Asylum within dark cells of varying unconventional sizes. They were to remain locked in darkness for three weeks while experts monitored their perception of space. On the second week, one subject escaped. He appeared catatonic in the alley behind the test facility. When asked how he left his cell, the subject said, The rest of the treatise has been torn from the book. So yeah, it's like using not like non-Euclidean understanding to escape from uh, the cell. You know, he's uh, 
was expecting a symbol to appear when I did that. He's, uh, I don't know, moving fourth dimensionally or something. Well, let's push the button. Because this isn't strange at all. Project Pendulum Day 6. New reading material arrived, courtesy the engineer. At first seemed disjointed, but on closer examination, the theories hold weight, or held weight. Must return to work. The sub-basement renovations are nearly complete. I've uncovered more ancient symbols. I can clearly see that the pendulum isn't swinging you. You can't fool me with your stock ticking noise. Button, button. Who's got the button? Hmm. Feels like another dead end. I also have to put the lights out and travel through the walls. This wasn't complicated enough already. Project Pendulum Day 13. I dreamed of a world with moving walls that shifted and contorted around me. At first I thought the walls moved with my heartbeat. And he spaced that out like someone putting sarcastic emphasis on a word on the internet. But then I realized they were controlled by the perpetual movement of the city. I'm trying to recreate the experience. I'm almost there. Oh, it was right there. Okay, fine, let's do this. Not bad clockwise, but you'll need more than a maze to keep me out. Up it is! I do appreciate that Garrett clearly isn't freaked out by any of this.
takes a lot to uh, impress the master thief. Project Pendulum Day 8. My work's evolving. I once assumed it involved the, auto the automaton's perpetual mechanism. Trivial. Ignorant. Short-sighted. Project Pendulum is about space and time. The two are connected. Need to discover how. Just realized I've been working 30 hours straight. Missed my meeting with the engineer. No matter. The automatons aren't important anymore. Hmm. Treatise on the Theory of Time Observe the city. Once a tract of untouched land, now a bustling hub of humanity. We see the city grow as a linear progression over time, one event after the other, but our perception does not mirror reality. The city is everything at once. Virgin countryside, crowded streets, and vacant ruins. All, movement, all moments of time exist concurrently with one another. It is our challenge to break the patterns of human consciousness, only then will we truly understand the meaning of time. The remainder of the material is missing. I guess this is as good a spot to call it as any. I'm Burning Dog Vase, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief when we push that button and find out how deep this rabbit hole gets. Later!